Welcome to Gamers Games. I'm Gamer, and these are my games. Tune in and see this week's new video. Thanks. Hey everybody, so welcome back to today's video. Uh, welcome to today's video. Yeah, not welcome back. So I went to Grudge Sales. Uh, this is Saturday the 23rd for me. Um, so I went to Grudge Sales this morning. Uh, took Dalton with me. He's in his room. Uh, found what you can see here. Huge stack of games. A couple of controllers now. Uh, we only found one of the games that had garage sale. The rest we went to a pawn shop because we weren't having luck. So I did find this. It's somewhat game related. Uh, it's a coax splitter. Um, they're not hard to come by. She's like 50 cents. I said I'll take it. You know, It's only a three splitter but it works for 50 cents. I'm okay with that. So I got that. Now the only thing from a garage sale that we got was Assassin's Creed, the first one for 360. Um, they had had it out, set up over the night and then first thing in the morning. Complete disc looks great. She had $3 marked on it and we got it for two uh, because we picked up some other stuff from her. Um, they didn't have any other games when we got there. Um, now they had their garage sale Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Why, is, why do people do that on Fridays? You know, unless you're a full-time reseller, you really should be at work typically on Fridays. Not always. I understand some people work weekends, but my dad gum. That's the whole reason I want weekends off. So I uh, went to the pawn shop after that and got all of this stuff. Now, okay, this is my Xbox One controller, not the blue one. Um, so we'll start with the two controllers. So we got a Xbox 360 wireless controller has a battery pack um they did not pull the batteries out thank god they weren't corroded um everything looks good the little joysticks look good uh so five bucks and i told the guy i said man uh do i have a warranty on this or anything he goes yes you have 24 hours if it works great if it doesn't bring it back cool <clears throat> now this dreamcast controller do you see why i was willing to pay five dollars for it i mean it's not this dead gum memory card, is it? I mean, it's an off brand, but it's a performance brand. But uh, five bucks, memory card and a controller. I was like, yeah, I got you. So I'm going to test these two out, which means I'm going to hook up my Dreamcast. And I was just talking to Andy about that yesterday. My Dreamcast hasn't been hooked up this entire time. I've got three con or two controllers down there. Hopefully that one's good and makes three. Um, <laughs> I asked about this PS2 memory card. Just because I like having something that I play on. This is not one that will go with the games because it's not the Magic Gate brand. Uh, I was like, what do you want for it? He goes, five. I said, how about three? He said, well, I'm going to charge you $3 for this drum. Uh, it's a, I guess a bass drum pedal. You know, I was like, okay. He goes, I'm just going to give you this for free so I can get something out of our system. I said, okay, cool. Thanks. So I've got a, a drum pedal out in the garage right now. Uh, so I got that for $3. That's the 128 megabyte, you know, nothing crazy. But huge PS3 score, huge, well, just huge score in general. Um, so let's try and separate these out from the way I had them. So this is Infinite Undiscovery for Xbox 360. I'd never seen this game before. It's disc only. Uh, most, of, I mean, Square Onyx. That's pretty good shape overall. Um uh, most of the games, that's actually disc two. I just now saw that. Dang, hopefully I'm not missing anything on disc one. It'll be my luck, I am. But it's a dollar. So uh, Dante's Inferno, it's complete. It's kind of rough shape. Uh, it looks like somebody had it out and it got a little moisture in it. A uh, dollar, no, I'm sorry, $2. $2 on 360 games. Uh, Dark Souls, uh, it's complete. The game looks new. I mean, this thing, actually has a, a sticker in there. Get that junk out of here. So I uh, was actually talking to my middle son about that. Uh, Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King Complete. Platinum hits for a regular Xbox. Now I already have these for that one and the Third Age for PS2. These are games, this one's missing the, the book. These are games that will be good trade stuff. Uh, I can throw with a system or just in general trade away. Um, let's see what we have here. So, 
that was kind of coming up out in there. It's a WWF 2012 or whatnot. It's a little scratched up because the case is bad, but I've got another case. So I need to set that one aside. Ugh. WrestleMania 21 for OG Xbox. No case, no book, but a uh, dollar. Their Xbox, PS2, and Wii games are a dollar a piece. The PS3 and 360 are two dollars, and then their uh, PS4, uh, PS, or PS4 and Xbox One games are ten dollars a piece, like flat rate or more. I don't know about all that. So, uh, Midway Arcade, Midway Arcade Treasures. Again, this is one I have for my PS2. Uh, it's just a good game to have. People love playing those games. Uh, Enter the Matrix. It's missing the book, but the disc looked immaculate. Uh, the case is kind of sticky, but that's all right. I can work with that. It's for OG Xbox. Uh, Burnout 3 Takedown. Now, this is a Greatest Hits disc. Uh, I already have it, but again, like I say, uh, Burnout 3 Takedown is just such a great game. You want to have duplicates. Now, the rest is all PS3 games. There's three, six, seven PS3 games. Sounds like uh, most of them are complete. South Park, The Stick of Truth. So, it is missing the manual. But I checked all these games. Uh, obviously, I didn't check the uh, first one. Here's Sniper Ghost Warrior. That first game that was missing the disc one, apparently. I just didn't see that, I guess. Uh, the Beatles Rock Band. Dalton actually pointed that one out. I'd looked over it because I was thinking Rock Band art. I don't have the guitars or nothing. But who knows? I might come across it. Uh, Dynasty Warriors 7. And that one's complete. Looks pretty good. Uh, I have not played any of the Dynasty Warriors uh, but, like I say, it looks good. Dragon Age 2. And it's complete. Even has the uh, insert in here from Mass Effect. Uh, L.A. Noir. It was missing the manual. Ah! Almost dropped it. So, And this is the complete edition. And Metal Gear Solid, the Phantom. Uh, what is it? Phantom Pain, yeah. It's got some inserts, but not the book. So, um, I'd say two bucks a piece for those PS3 games uh, and 360 games. The rest were a dollar a piece. Burnout 3 Takedown for a dollar any day of the week. Uh, WrestleMania 21, you know, and uh, Midway Arcade Treasures all day long for a dollar a piece. I'm buying them. Uh, so, that was a quick little pickup, you know, with one game from a garage sale. And then the rest from this pawn shop, that stuff was just too cheap to pass up. I think controllers, all the games, including the one I got at the garage sale, come to a total of like $42, which isn't bad, you know, because most of these like WrestleMania and Midway and uh, Burnout are all eight to 10 a piece. You know, I think every game in here was at least six and up value-wise. Loose disc, I didn't bother looking at all of them, but that was a huge pickup for $40. And even though we're going to say at least three or four of them are going to be duplicates, that still means there's 10 added to the collection. That's good stuff. Tune back in for next episodes. Don't forget, giveaway of Chrysalis with the plastic pretty box and all that stuff. Once we hit 100 subscribers, we're at 95 right now. So thanks for that. Keep watching everything. Like Go back and watch stuff again if you want to. Please like, share, tag, comment, all that good stuff. I want to hear it. I want to see it. We'll see you all next time.